Okay, we've got a game here versus uh, Undead. We're playing Orcs. Oh, it's Andre. He's going to be challenged. Perfect conditions. So we are 1300, they're 2080, so they get a 20k difference. So they have 3 guard, 3 mighty blow, attack with relevant, defend on this block, super goal, frenzy goal, 1 bench, and 3 rerolls. He gets to pick. Let's have a look at the colors. Maybe we can play it with standard colors. Because I'm basically blue anyway. And they're a bit blue. Let's see what it looks like when they're set up. Um, if it does work, we'll get back to the red and blue mode. Or mode for easier recognition of players. Oh, it's interesting that he lets me bash first. But like with some luck. Removing zombies can be a big thing here, right? So he has nothing to like tie my players up with. He only has one super goal. So this guy's kind of bad as well. Or good, depending on whose side you're on. So we um, have to be careful with the mummies and this guy. Like not like not putting this guy on the bench. So he's got what on the bench? He's got a goal on the bench, but not the carrier one. Okay, so we are hitting. So let's get this guy on the pitch. Let's put him on that side and see what happens. Okay, uh, so nothing happened. Oh, we both rolled. Oh, he's got. Oh, we rolled six both, so he got a reroll. Okay, so the coach he bought gave him a reroll. Sad, but to be expected, I guess. There's only one word to say. Only a push. We may see that play. Okay, nice. That's a good choice for this play. Come on, guys. Together. Now it's funny to be really. I guess we don't really care. Let's just put you there. And then we will blitz. Three, four, five. Whenever we blitz, we might get into trouble. So the mummy will show up here. So let's do this. Okay, so the first turn was pretty nice. We didn't have to waste any rerolls. We carried one guy, but we didn't get this guy down. 
So two armor breaks, a lot of pushes on him. Like we're just barely strong enough to fight the mummies, I think. There's the blitz. Only a push, that's really nice. That might give us a mummy hit back or a hit back on the mummy. Oh nice zombie dodge, so we have three, four, five. So preferably we want to blitz the mummy there with my flow. Three. I don't know if that's actually doable, so let's do this instead. We're gonna hit that guy, right? So you go there. Push, but I'll have to do. That'll do, player. That'll do. I'll have to do. Oh, he will drop skulls into a pal. Okay. So he used up the free reroll he got, and we didn't die, that's always success. He doesn't have a dedicated fouler, right? He doesn't have a dirty player, so... Might not be the best fouling opportunity there. Gets other bits as well, unfortunately. That's bad. Really bad. Need these guys. Yeah. We stand you up. Part one. Then we take you there. Oh dear. I hope that player. Oh dear, yes Will indeed. Britain? Players can barely speak, Jim, let alone write. And you should know you've interviewed enough of them. Now, if we move, there's a chain, so let's not follow. I still surf over there, but we might be able to do a blitz here instead, right? So, I guess the play for the one, two, three. Ready for a pass. 
Okay, the mummies are far away. That's basically the whole point of trying one side first, right? And then moving to the other. Question is, of course, if how much is supposed to come in here, because he can't surf this guy, right? And it is my best sword. <laughs> it is to skip and him down instead of wasting time, yeah, because if he's surfing, he ties up three players, right? So. annoying her armor can put pieces like nothing with zombies don't do it again mm -hmm. i hate bad puns come on guys oh, together that's nice just a stand off that's disappointing we're both still standing mm -hmm. they're getting powered with sand though Here's a blitz, yeah, he's gonna get the mummy back and gets the pout. A normal break, that's nice, so we can get our begin into the fray as well. Oh, here are you go, that's a rush. They are down and surrounded by the opposing team. Okay, so what can we do here? It's a rush. So we got two dice on him. Or him. I think we want that one more. He's gonna rush there. Nice armor break. Ooh, a removal on the goal. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. He'll be done for some time. Run, Mr. Throw. Now, this means we can hit one day there currently. So if this guy gets... No, it does not. So it's one day no matter which one we pick here, right? Of these. Yeah, so four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's get the big end there. We're not hitting there, it's just that simple. Taking the one day for no reason and risking our block piece or our guard piece here falling over it. Now he needs to hit him. They 
I get him, unfortunately. And another armor break with a zombie and a removal. Okay, we removed one of his guys there, but like we have armor 10 for guts. Like his ghoul does not have armor 10 plus. That's annoying. Especially when it's the best begin. With a stupid zombie block, just randomly KO'd him. His zombies are lethal. A prone player is a dead player. Nicely done. And of course, he makes all the dice. And get this fate pow. Okay. Well, he, we made him roll the dice, but and he made everything, so there's nothing more we can do there. I think oh, crap, we only get the So we will push you there. Throw. Yes, we stand you up. No, we don't. We th we throw. We do this, right? Oh, that's uphill. We have to do it with this guy, unfortunately. Well, good enough. Break it me. Okay, I think that went as well as it could have. We can't really protect the ball good enough, like you can just three plus through here or the other way, so we can't. You know, I may actually say something witty and insightful soon. Just waiting for the players and the coach to do something. Anything! Please, just be interested. So we have two guys out. He's got two one of us, but he's got my best big end, and he just goes, oh, nice. Right player, right oh, we rolled the pow. Well, both of them would have worked. So. At least you had to use a rear roll on the blip. And 
course, you know. Oh, that worked, because that's the block mummy for Mr. Lino. Only a push, that's nice. Let me stand up. So we can hit with these guys. So if we stand him up, we blitz him off. Nice for pal. And we um, follow. We can push the ghoul off. Well done. The ball so the ghoul stuck on tackle at least. That's, well, stuck isn't the really word here, but it's, it's there. <laughs> we don't really want to move these guys because then we open up everything else. It's uphill. Everything there is two dice there, so we can take this, I guess, and this. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is. Can stay there so we can't dodge through or anything. Now we can dodge this guy, right? Try to at least. Hold on, he can just pop. No, that's 1D for him. And then he can go through there. This guy gets 1, 2, 3, 4. I think if we can get this guy down here, it'll be amazing. Nope, we're not gonna use the last reroll. Enough again. That will I know. Oh, this time it's the other mummy. Re rolls into a push only on our through there. Keeps my guys locked and his mummies. And here comes this guy. Of course, he makes the dodge, gets the dodge, and gets Guardian and squishes my. Oh, only a push. Last re Oh, he puts it in and gets it. Okay. Now we have to work hard again. That's a decent scatter, right? It's in my tackle zone at least. That's what we want to do, right? So you're just gonna stand up. You're just gonna stand up. So, 1D this guy. Do we scatter the ball in case he gets... I think we do this. And then we don't follow. Okay. So now we put you there. And then we 1D here. Not where we were hoping, nor what we were hoping. Mm. 
we can really get anywhere interesting. So what we need to do is it works he gets the power unfortunately oh, of course he destroys my player so he's now dead. Well, he was just the guy who was waiting to get replaced anyway, right? Because of the stupid randoms. But still, Armor 10 Plus hasn't done shit in this game. He gets the line now again, as always. And this time he armor breaks. And a KO, yeah. If we don't get chaos back here, this is going to be a loss instantly. If I had a gold crown for every player I've seen lying on the field during my career, well, I could start my own team. And of course, he makes the dodge. Why wouldn't he? Stand. Oh dear, I hope that player has written a will. Written? Players can barely Throw a wheel push, it doesn't matter, but push it there. to follow. If I had a gold crown for every player I've seen lying on the field during my career, well, I could start so this my is own the play. team. You only need a million gold, right? Instantly fail. That last burst of speed. It's risky. Oh, we got lucky. Now we need some lucky K roll. At least we get two K rolls now for the second half. Of course, his guys comes back. He doesn't even need them. He's got the bench. We only get one. Uh, so we have one line now still care. So we can't put. So we just have to put. we scored and we have to replace him but that's fine he was just living on board time because random yeah, juggernaut random breaking tackle right we said that we're down a blitz through the game which is a problem because I think there might be um, maybe he was gonna quick depends if we get our bad guy back we just down one player it's not gonna be easy to one turn right or quick score I mean on the second half Depends if Andre wants to go for the win or play safe and just try to bash me out with his mummies.
Okay, here we go. Oh, they got another reroll. Why wouldn't they? At least they didn't get the extra turn rate. That would have been horrible. And of course, he gets the one. He keeps getting one in nines with this guy, right? He doesn't care about them. And only a push for the other one. Oh, getting all the dice and the big one, and didn't need them. Well, hey, why? That, oh, he was hitting this guy first, of course. Okay. So we had the mummy as a follow up here. And if he wants to, he can just super foul me. The plus a million. So it's going to be an auto breaker. It's plus eight. Well, plus seven actually, but yeah. Not dead. That's nice. And here's the throw. Or then some nice SPP. And he has a reroll for it as well due to the kick off event. So, yeah, kick off event gave him an SPP on the goal. Now, please wake up, Mr. Kao. Yes, thank you. So we have at least a full team. Let's put these guys further back in case. We don't really care if he quick scores, it gives us another bash chance on the LOS, right? So maybe we can. But uh, if we just remove some guys now with all his mighty blow, you never know. So far, my armor hasn't been much to write him about. They got a third time in a row, they got the same kickoff event and they won <laughs> the team reroll. And we rolled two, each of us rolled a two when he won. Oh my god, he's gotten three free rerolls so far this game. Mm, only a push on the big one at least. Get more tries, but. Better than a right power from the mighty blow, right? Now it's only a normal hit. Oh, this is a zombie, so this is a dead guy. Zombies always break my armor, it appears. Oh, no, maybe this is a... And then there's a from the mummy on my poor line. Oh. And there goes the armor break. And the removal. Yeah, no point having him back. Oh dear. Down one instantly. And pass my blister, of course. 
And that's also an armor break for no reason. That's really annoying. No might to blow on these guys. We have armor 10 plus, but it doesn't matter at all. If only I rolled that well, right? That would be nice. Obviously not gonna happen. And he's just gonna stop. Oh, he's gonna foul as well in the beginning. Why not? Plus three. Nope, didn't break armor. And the ref is not present. So we get you there. Can't get any powers, we can only get pushes. Which, of course, is going to be really annoying. Yeah, let's follow up. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. <laughs> let's see. Three, four, three, four. So if we put in Mr. Throw. Of course not. Not a power, not a single power from us. Amazing. Nope, no powers from us. Why would there ever be? We didn't get a single power. He powered everything, removed one, broke this armor as well. And we can't get a pow. So that's basically how you lose a blood ball, right? Just roll crap dice instantly. And you can't really stop them from just pulling you. Like if we pow this guy and this guy and this guy, it looks much more easier because that's a breakthrough here. And these guys have to come back and protect. Now he can do whatever he wants. Only a push in the big gun with the mighty blow uh, white. But he freezes mummy, which is the main point, because I think he wants the mummy here. Which is why if this guy is powered, this, this isn't really an option, because I can even get punched back really easily. Push the stronger player back. Absolutely. And there's a pound Melino. And oh and Yeah, my armor isn't really doing much here. <laughs> And gets the both down when he's got low. Yeah, nope. I don't know if it's me or like is it the dice? Are the dice actually unfair? I don't I think like in the first half I think the armor breaks was in his favor, but my my dodges were pretty good, right? So But in this half so far like I haven't done anything and he's just removed and broken my armor. Consistently and it's not with the mighty blow pieces, right? I can accept mighty blow working now and then. Like this is absolutely fine, because it might be blow it's a thing. We can get them both down. Oh yeah. So we could punch stuff, but I don't know if it's worth it. We could bleed him. I guess we start with this. Oh, we got a pow, that's amazing. But no armor break, unfortunately. You 
come back, you stand up. That's 2D now. They've got the advantage. Thank but you. Sure thing in if we move up. Does the chain push? Does that actually matter? No. I think we'll follow just because we can. I think we'll just stay there, right? Because we can't really stop him from doing anything here anyway. Because he's gonna get plus one from that guy. We can't really get behind. So maybe if we put you there, and then you run back here. So he's gonna have to roll some dice at least. Keep getting the pounds. Keeps getting the armor break. Armor thin. It's paper thin. It might be blow, so it's still like much by higher odds to break it, but still a nine. Oh wow, one in nines and uses a reroll. The free reroll again, and there's the chain push anyway, as I said, so it didn't matter much. So that's what like I think he's gonna get the mummy in there if he wants to. But like if I have him here, I have some strength, help, and maybe we can get one hit back next time. Instead of being back here, or he can't do anything. Here's split. On Mr. Throw and get the pal. And this guy is the easy okay, and the removal, of course. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. I mean, he has to roll some dice, and he has had pretty good block dice. Like, he basically gets slightly more pounds than he should have, I think. But, and we can't really stand up against that when he removes my armor 10 pieces, and we don't do anything back. So, I guess that's to be expected. Oh, interesting. I don't really know why you would like to do that rush. That's probably the reason I'm not seeing. So what can we do? Not much, of course, because we never can do much. So we can free him up. Let's try and do that. Okay. I don't want to move anyway, so it doesn't matter if you fend or not. He's coming to help his buddy. That's gonna hurt. We want to rush there with him, I guess. So one, two, three, four. Five. So we want to blitz now. Competent. 
Okay, I think that was the best we could have. We had to use a reroll, but I think it was important because if this guy is standing, he's just going to power this guy instantly. Now he needs to either hit without block or blitz with him, right? And I don't think he wants to blitz with this guy. He wants to bring this guy in instead. Oh, only pushes. And, oh, we got block. So it's just a push. He's kind of freed up. It's like if he wants to score, he can score. And he is. Okay. Please, Teo guys, come back. Because if we don't get them back, this will be really bad. We get one guy back. We don't get Mr. Throw, unfortunately. Crap. So we're one player down and we don't have a carrier. Well, we have to carry in a blitzer, which means he's got block, so that's better than Mr. Throw. Better armor. But he can't pick up Shurans. So we might have to reroll pickups instead, and that's bad. Well done, Mr. Blitzer. We're really impressed by that. The attacker has an assist. My mighty blow doesn't work. Looks like the players have finally remembered we're not playing soccer. Does this matter? Is he moving? Maybe. Let's put him there for now. Start my own team. You only need a million to go, right? Get up! Get off the field! Okay, we got the ball in the cage, it's somewhat secure, and we have all the guard gathered. So he's pushed in the corner and he's put all his mummies in. So four, five, six. Imagine if we could make an armor break, almost, <laughs> almost. And next up is, I guess, this guy. Okay, well done, Mr. I know. Regent failed. 
then we do Get you there. And him there. And this guy can now do this. Right we never get right the what we need, we never get the what we need. That's going Didn't work, to but it doesn't matter. He just it's free anyway. We want. It does. We're not breaking through here. We're gonna have to try and play for the one one that did. We're one player down and and it works. So now he's got a mummy on the carrier. And he's gonna get oh he's not gonna get any other guard in there actually. Of course it's an armor rake, why wouldn't it be? Wonder removal, like my armor is just crap in this thing. I get mighty blow, I get it, but broken armor ten plus so many times. Should they be stomping on the player's neck with those studded boots that hard? I guess we'll do that. I think we might as well have to move upwards. We can't do anything. to be able to move this guy right I'm gonna risk it nope doesn't matter he got himself out of a dangerous situation Come on. Yeah, now he's going to steal it with a goal. Yeah, because 
he's gonna hit this guy and then he's gonna run through 2d him yeah i think we just lost the game due to basically just our armor not holding up to be the zombie hits mainly Uh, number one, like if they would have been me, I would have gotten a push here, right? So that it, the ghoul wouldn't have to go through without dodging. Because <laughs> otherwise, this guy would have been on him, right? And then this guy could keep this side slightly safer. Nope. It wasn't meant to be, because the dice just said, you can't do anything while your opponent can just break your armor 10, as if you don't wear any armor. And then again, he has played, like, he hasn't made any mistakes, Andrew is good, so there's no question about that, but I don't need the game helping him as well. And gets the power, of course. And the armor break, of course, armor 10, like, again. And he gets in a perfect, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now he can't pick up with the ghoul next turn. He needs, oh yeah, he can because he gets this guy as a going threat, of course. He can pick up and he gets the POW. Yep, we just lost the game. Thanks a lot. And my POW dies. Oh, he failed to pick up. That's of course the way to be not clear. No. And there he got it. We lost the game. I don't think we can catch him. Well, we can dodge one, two, three, four, five, but he's got bludge, right? So this is over. Or we can just one in nine this one. Yeah, this was just not meant to be. Of course, the zombie tear up. Yeah, with these the armor dice, he might run that. Well done, Andre. GG. Uh, I, that's nothing I could have done. This feels like a loss that should have been a draw with average dice, but you know. When orc armor don't hold up, there isn't much they can do, right? We don't have enough guard to outflank than his mummies. Yeah, we need more guard for that. And we just don't have it. GG Andre, well done, well played. Don't touch! That's a don't touch everybody! Sorry, uh, touchdown! I mean, wine! Red wine! Yeah, uh, let's see, does this matter at all? No, it does not. Wow, we got a reroll. We got the same event every kickoff.
another player on the ground, the coach will be spitting teeth about this. Now it's free as a horse in a thunderstorm. The attacker has an assist. That's a good choice for this play. Nope. Like we just can't roll any powers. Thanks for watching, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a like and subscribe, and come watch me live on Twitch.